The footage was captured in an unknown forest at night time, and the reason that the camera holder was there in the first place is also unclear. At first glance, the video doesn't seem to show anything out of the ordinary, and unless you have a very keen eye, chances are you'll probably miss it the first time. However, if you slow the footage down, you can clearly see there's something very creepy lurking in these woods. There on the side of one of the trees is some sort of bizarre creature staring back at the camera holder. While the creature appears to only have two legs and two arms, its body has an almost insect-like quality about it. Its skin looks rough and hard and its limbs are very thin. When the camera's light passes by the creature a second time, you can see that its face certainly looks humanoid, and it appears to be screaming at the camera holder. This strange beast has been compared to many different cryptids, including a skinwalker, the rake, and even some sort of human-alien hybrid. Some think that the video could have easily have been faked, while others believe it to be genuine. It's difficult to know for certain what exactly the camera has captured in this clip. However, it definitely doesn't look like anything we've ever seen before. Whatever it is, real or fake, it's certainly a very scary moment captured on camera. Captured at the Spanish ski resort Formigal, that many thought proved the existence of this mythological beast. The photos were taken by a skier who posted the pics online with the message, Strange animal spotted in Formigal, what the hell is this? When the photo went viral, many thought that the creature had to be a yeti, while others thought there was a simpler explanation. Some suggested that it may have been a polar bear, a soldier in mountain camouflage, or even just a joker in a white furry bear suit who was out for a laugh. When the news broke, a spokesman for the resort confirmed that a thorough search of the area had been conducted. He then went on to reassure holidaymakers by saying, We've spoken to the witnesses of the sighting to identify the area in which it took place, and after combing the area, we've found nothing. We believe, therefore, there is no cause for alarm and that visitors' security is guaranteed. In any case, we'll remain alert. Despite the search, the identity of the creature was never confirmed. What do you think? Could there really be a Yeti living deep in the mountains of Spain? Hundreds of locals and tourists have claimed to have seen a monster in the lake. It's known as Ogopogo. One of the most famous sightings of Ogopogo occurred in 1976, when Vancouver local Ed Fletcher took this striking photo. Fletcher was with a group of friends enjoying the scenery when he spotted a giant serpent creature undulating through the water. He took a snap with his camera. The photo would become legendary, one of the most significant pieces of evidence that a cryptid could be swimming in Lake Okanagan. Indigenous tribes of Canada believe that there was once a man that lived by the lake who was possessed by a demon. The demonic influence took hold and went on a murderous rampage. It's said that the entity killed a local hero named Old Carnegan. The gods didn't take kindly to this act of violence, and so turned the possessed murderer into a giant serpent. The creature was forced to swim in the lake for eternity. In memoriam, the lake was named after the old hero who was slain by the demon. It became known as Lake Okanagan. This photo is just one piece of evidence in a long line of real cryptid encounters that have taken place by Lake Okanagan. Could there really be a giant serpent creature hiding in the deep waters of this ancient lake? This video seems to show some kind of cryptid creature lurking in a man's backyard. The clip begins with Grebenik ringing a friend and telling him that the weird creature is back. He's placed his iPad against the window and is filming the encounter. In the dimly lit backyard, you can see a bipedal creature lurching towards the house. It wanders around slowly as if sussing the area out. The man on the phone calls the creature demonic and evil and believes it's come from a dense thicket of weeds at the back of the property. 
At one point, the creature retreats back into the darkness, but it soon returns, this time a bit closer. Grebenik begins to freak out while his friend on the other end of the line sounds as though he's chanting in another language. The entity begins to retreat once more, then the phone cuts out. When the video was uploaded, it created significant debate about what the creature might actually be. Many viewers sided with Grebenik and called it demonic, something not of this world. Others, however, noted Grebenik's tone of voice throughout the clip. It doesn't quite fit the emotion that someone might feel if they were really witnessing a demon in their own backyard. Yes, oh my god, he's like, you should see this thing, Mike. Oh my god. Like a gargoyle. It's like a gargoyle, man. He's a little freaked out, but mostly okay with it, which seems to suggest that it's all staged. Another portion of commenters thought perhaps it was a cryptid of some kind, an animal that is yet to be classified by modern science. So what do you think? Cryptid, demon, or hoax? Love to hear your opinions on this one as well in the comments section below.